hello hello happy monday i believe you're watching this on a monday i mean i'm filming on a monday anyway so we are heading down into london today bonnie and clyde is on the west end and you're probably fully aware my favorite actor john luke gage plays clyde so naturally i have to go see it don't i this is at the garrick theater so we're gonna head down now we have an hour drive to shenfield which is our local tube stop we'll then hop on the lizzie line I think the Lizzie line will get off at Tottenham Court, then we'll get onto the Northern line to Leicester Square, I think. But yeah, getting ready now. I've got my little lanyard on, which I put my card in for the tube. Just gonna pack my lounge light. I got this while I was in Florida. It's this little ornament of Pooh and Friends, like in front of like the London skyline. And I thought, because we're just in Leicester Square, I could get a picture of this of like all the London skyline in the background. Like, all me get a minute. So. I'm gonna pack that because I feel like that would be cute. Yeah, I've just got on this cute little floral dress with a bow belt, little purple cardigan, and it's got, can you see that? It's got poo and stuff on the pockets. I've got my pink tights on, sparkly shoes. I was gonna wear my Clyde t-shirt, but I have very limited stuff to go with it. And the only outfit that I was thinking I could do with it is the exact same outfit I saw Bonnie and Clyde in last year. And so yeah, I didn't really feel like wearing the outfit to the same show twice. So yeah. I mean, it's still, it's still cute. I like the fit. So yeah. Let's go! So, little change of plan. We've actually come to Brentwood Station, which is like the next station in. Um, there's the Lizzie line now going. It's just closer to the, the car park is closer to the station here. So, and it's like one stop in, in to like save some time. So yeah, I think the next train is coming in like three minutes. So, This is really annoying. He was been wanting him for so long since he got released in the American parks. And he came on Shop Disney this morning. And I said if I didn't if I got him, he would be here. If I didn't get him, he wouldn't be here. So I went and brought him this morning on Shop Disney UK. That's annoying. That's how it works. If I didn't buy it, he wouldn't be here. But it's the little shoulder plush, it's got a magnet, so it'll sit on your shoulder. How come everything always seems loud when you're in an empty field? <laughs> so we've just arrived. We are on oh, third row, so very close. Because usually we'd be sat like actually that bad so we're sat right here and I've got 
my program. I wasn't going to get one because I got placed in the show before. But the other week they literally just changed it over to, to the new cast. Look how tiny it is. It was a fiver, which isn't too bad for theatre, but it's so tiny. But yeah, it's a really nice theatre. Hello, so we're back home now. It was two bride was obviously nice and easy out of London. Um, we did one stop on the central line from Leicester Square to Tottenham Court, I think. And then we went, switched over to the Lizzie line and did Lizzie line to Brentwood. And then got back in the car and drove home. We got within half an hour of home and the main road <laughs> was closed. So we then had to do like a detour around like the like villages and country lanes at like midnight so that took a bit longer on the final stretch but we are home now i thought also i picked up some bits in the disney store before i talk about the show and yeah i need to take my hair down i've already taken my makeup off i've already shown you the program and it is so small compared to like usual programs and like the program at the arts theater but as i said it was five pound so it's, it's decent. And what I've literally just noticed, it was actually the picture on the back. I've never noticed this before. The bullet hole that has obviously their faces in it, it's in the shape of a heart, isn't it? Why have I never noticed that before? Yeah, it's got, because beforehand, they literally redid the programs this week. Obviously they had all of the new cast because a lot of the cast has changed during the switch, but all of like the um, shots, like the, action shots in the show were still from the old cast so like now obviously they've updated it so we've got the beautiful Jodie Steele as Blanche and my camera's just wanting to focus on 
Jordan's face. I don't blame it. <laughs> Before we get into the Shop Disney bit, let's just talk about the show. Obviously, last year it opened up in the Arts Theatre as its West End debut, and then this year it's reopened up again in the Garrick Theatre, which is so much bigger. <laughs> I think the Arts Theatre is only like a couple hundred capacity. The Garrick Theatre is obviously like a full-size scale West End Theatre, so you know it's got like a couple thousand capacity. So a lot bigger scale and they had changed quite a lot of the show. Obviously the general plot line is the same because you can't, because obviously Bonnie and Clyde is a real story, you can't change that. General storyline was the same, obviously all the songs are the same, I believe they were in the same order, I think some might have just been switched around. Other than that all of the songs were the same. But a few of the scenes and like how they did things was different, so very start of the show, in case you've never seen Bonnie and Clyde, it basically starts at the end. So, you know, the lights go down in the auditorium and then you can hear like a car skid and then just like loads of gunshots. And even though, you know, I've seen the show before, I know what's coming. I jumped a mile. <laughs> then it was like a load of smoke on the stage and then the car is there with Bonnie and Clyde dead in the car. And then all of the policemen walk on stage and like they say, they're saying like facts and things about that like how many bullet holes I think it's like 147 or something like that and then they're just like walking around the crime scene and then Ted comes on and he picks up Bonnie's uh, journal with all her poems in and he says a few things that's the opening scene of that what's then different from the last one is then when all the police then go away actually no I think in the original the police didn't even come on it was just like the car scene and then in the original, they then had children version of Bonnie and Clyde come on and sing the beginning of Picture Show. And basically that's a song about Bonnie and Clyde in their like youth and then it gradually like goes up to adult them singing like their hopes and dreams. It's like Bonnie's obviously singing about wanting to be a famous actress and they're singing that in front of, you know, future them in the car. And then it transitions into them at the beginning of the story before they meet. With this one, the car then disappears and then it is John Luke Gage and Francis Maylie McCann. They are playing the younger versions of themselves. Um, so it was a bit different. It took me a while to wrap my head around like, oh, they're making them younger selves. But then it, you did quickly understand what was going on. So that was a change. There was a few th times in the original where they had the kids in it. Like every time Clyde would pull up a weapon to someone, the younger version of him would then come stand in front of it. They didn't have any of that, so there was no kid actors in this show. Um, what other changes were there? Just simple changes that I noticed, like in the hair salon scene, where they're trying to persuade Buck to go back to prison, and the policeman come into the hair salon. In the original, he pretended to be a woman. He put on a hair towel and put up a newspaper to his face and sat underneath, you know, those blow dry things and he put on a woman's voice so the police wouldn't notice him. In this one he just hid around the corner so I preferred the original because it was more funny like he was just hiding in plain sight. A couple of like song sequences that were, were different. I think there were some scenes added in like there's quite a lot of scenes on Bonnie's porch with her mum and Ted. I'm sure I remember Clyde going to see his parents in the forest a bit more. He only did it once. I'm sure they saw each other a couple more times in the original. In most scenes, something was different, but I did really enjoy that because obviously I went in there expecting to like know fully what was happening, fully what was happening in all the scenes. But with the fact that each thing was different, it then kept me on my toes because it was like I was watching it all over again, even though it's a show that I know and I love, I love the soundtrack. It was cool because I was like, didn't know what to expect in each of the scenes. I loved it the first time and I really enjoyed it this time with all the scene changes and I, even though there's a few elements from like the original West End show that I do prefer, I do think in general I do prefer this version at the Garrick Theatre. It was incredible. Anyway, yeah, on to what I got from Shop Disney. Let me just move my bag out of the way. But I didn't actually end up doing much vlogging in London because it was tipping it down with rain and I'd, as I showed you, I was wearing a little dress and tights and little flip-on shoes. I was soaked. I was a drowned rat. and. You can see from the box, everything was getting soaked, so yeah. But everything's fine, I haven't got anything that would get damaged in the rain. I've got three things in Shop Disney. First up, I saw these, they got added onto the Shop Disney website last week, 
and I wasn't sure about them, but then I saw them in the shop. I was like, so cute. It's a pencil case, but like it stands up. So they, there's the pencil case bit on the back. Like you can't actually fit much in there, but I'm not gonna use it as a pencil case anyway. I'll just use it as like a display on my shelf. Look how cute they are. They have these in quite a few different characters as well. But look how cute he is. <laughs> and then this has been a very, I don't know if it was actually today or very recently this week that it got added onto Shop Disney UK. And I had been thinking about getting it, but then I saw it in, Lon in the London store and I was like, I might as well get it. Now I'm here in London. And that is a special limited edition pin, if it's gonna focus. There you go, a limited edition pin for the coronation. So it's got Mickey, dressed as a king in front of the Union Jack and it says Coronation Day. Then they've recently Shop Disney UK have, so this is the reason why I got the box. Shop Disney UK have done like a, I think it was on their restock for this week. They've released a load of Disney Cruise merch. There's been like a zip up hoodie, a t-shirt, a mug. There's a couple of bits. Initially, I wasn't going to get anything from the collection because Disney Cruise merch is the kind of thing that, you know, I want to get when I'm on a cruise trip, you know, to like commemorate it. But I saw this. I've only been on one Disney cruise and that was the Disney Magic. I saw this and I just had to get it. It was just really cool. So it's this little like hanging ornament. It was 18 pound. And it's just of the Disney dream. And it says on the side, the dream of Europe. And then it's got obviously like the infamous funnels with Mickey on them. Got some artwork around there and it's got the ankle with the Mickey on it. I just thought this was really beautiful. And I do believe, I because every summer a cruise, a Disney cruise line does come over to Europe to do like Mediterranean sailing, sailings, uh, Scandinavia sailings, British Isle sailings. I think those are the three things they offer over here in Europe. Yeah, I think so. Cheer a different cruise ship comes over here and I believe this summer it is the Disney dream. I think so. Because that would make sense why they've got this one, the dream of Europe. It just wants to focus on me for some reason. I don't know why. Focus on the boat. Yeah. That's why I think they've done the Dream of Europe. Because I believe that's what's coming over this summer. I might be wrong. I don't know. But that's just my educated guess. Why is it not for to focus? That's just my educated guess on why it says that. It's very high on my bucket list to tick off all of the Disney ships. Obviously, I've done one and done. <laughs> So I've still got a few to go, but yeah. For what I do eventually go on the dream, at least I've already got some memorabilia for it. And this was just too cool not to get. I really, really love this. Yeah, those are the bits I picked up in the Disney store and I only got the program from the show because I collect programs from all the shows I go to. And funny enough, that is, I think I've only really seen like one show that Jordan hasn't been in. Other than that, I just see all the shows that he's in. I need, a, I need some sleep. I need to wind down. Thank you for coming along with me on this. And yeah, stay tuned because the next vlogs coming your way are gonna be Croatia, Slovenia, and Hungary. So yeah, I need some sleep before that. If you'd like to come along on more adventures with me, do click subscribe down below. And if you enjoyed this video, do pop that thumbs up button. And I'll see you guys later.